<laughs> All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites <laughs> coming out here once again on another beautiful weekend to prophesy the total destruction and downfall of your beloved kingdom known as America, aka Babylon and Egypt, and Rome, and Sodom and Gomorrah, all in one. First of all, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all the elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth just like we are across the four corners of the globe. Today, we're going to be dealing with the subject of honoring our, our Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. But they was Hebrews, not Greeks, not Romans, not American citizens, but they was Hebrew Israelites, so we call them by their Hebrew name, which is Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, which is the Son, which we're supposed to honor and reverence and glorify Yahweh Shai, His Son. All right? Yes, sir? I'm starting with Psalms. Yeah. Psalms 86, uh, verse 12. It says, I will praise thee, O Lord my, my God. See? It said, he, we will praise thee. This is a psalm of David saying, we will praise thee. O Lord, our power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father and the Son, but we are to honor who? Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father Son. Go ahead, bro. It says, I will praise you with all my heart. Now, how do you praise the Lord with all your heart, meaning your mind and spirit and soul? What? By reading his word. Keeping his commandments, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. See what I'm saying? Being a servant of his word. Not just like the scripture say, be a doer, not just a hearer only. See what I'm saying? It says, and I will glorify thy name. See? We will glorify, we will glorify his name forevermore. Being in age upon age upon age upon age. We will glorify his name. So how in the world, world can you sit there and say you're not supposed to honor Yahweh Shah or call upon his name when the scripture tell you we're supposed to glorify his name forever? You see what I'm saying? We're supposed to glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah forever. As long as we have breath in our body, we're supposed to glorify his name forever. You see what I'm saying? Let's go. All right. Let me get a... Uh... Isaiah 43 and 11. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11. I, even I, am the Lord. Beside me there is no Savior. See? Beside you, how about she never shot? There is no other Savior, man. So why are you people out here calling upon other gods, calling upon other names, calling upon other doctrines? The Lord just said, beside him, there is no other Savior. But who is our Savior? Yahweh Shah. He the one that died on the cross for, matter of fact, give me Acts 5 and start at 29, to prove who our Savior is. Since y'all oh. si don't want to believe that Yahweh Shah is our Savior, go ahead, bro. It's Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey Yahweh rather than men. We are to obey who? The Most High rather than men. He reads, uh, The God of, your, of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hung, hanged on a tree. Him that Yahweh exalted with his, his right hand to be the prince and savior. See? Be a prince and a what? A savior. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. For to give repentance to Israel. See? Now, which one of you knucklehead niggas out here died on the cross for the nation of Israel to give repentance and forgiveness of sin? Who was our savior? Yahweh Shai. So how can you sit there and say you're not supposed to worship or honor Yahweh Shai? He's just a regular dude. See what I'm saying? That's an oxymoron. <laughs> Our big brother gave up his life. Man, he got spat on, slapped, spit on, stoned, stone, talked about, abused, misused, mistreated. You niggas can't even take rebuke. 
You see what I'm saying? But you want to sit there and say that how a child is not worthy to be praised or to be honored or glorified? They did it for you and me. See? But you got people that say you ain't supposed to honor your house shot. You ain't supposed to call on his name. You ain't supposed to worship him. You ain't supposed to put him on the same level as your house. Why not? See what I'm saying? A person that does all this for you, hey, I'm in debt to his life, man. You see what I'm saying? I'm a servant of him for help, forever. He gave up his life for us. How many of y'all can sit there and say you were down across shit for your mama? Well, a lot of y'all would because y'all worship, worship women. How about how many of y'all can sit there? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Just, you show sure right. Walking down the street, man. You, oh, he is real. I'm going to die for him. Ain't none of y'all. You be like, let that nigga die. That's right. I see the post. Nigga, you die, nigga, you wicked ass nigga. That's right. That's what we going to say. <laughs> you right. Show sure right. He had more love. He had the, the greatest love ever, man. You know? You sure right, bro. Give me uh, 2 John chapter 1, verse 9. chapter 1 verse 9 whosoever transgresseth transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ or Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai hath no God he that abide abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai hath both the Father and the Son see now what is part of that doctrine like we read in Acts 5 and 30 to obey God what is God's commandment Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's commandment to what? Honor his son. It just said he that had not the doctrine of Yahweh Shah is not what, bro? It abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shah hath no God. See? You don't abide in the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you have no power. What's the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? This whole Bible right here. This, the spirit of Yahweh Shah is what? The spirit of prophecy. Which is what? This whole book. Because it's written of who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So if you don't follow this word, you don't have no power. You have no protection. So if you don't honor, reverence, or glorify the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, you up shit creep. Basically. You see what I'm saying? You have no, no hope or no, no chance of salvation. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's why it's important that you should reverence and honor your how about Shim Yahweh Shai. Ain't none of y'all walked on water. Ain't none of y'all turned water into wine. Y'all can't even make Kool-Aid. See what I'm saying? But you want to see what said that what? You're not supposed to honor and reverence your how about Shim Yahweh Shai? He's just a regular, ordinary dude? <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. A man that can make rocks cry out his name is not an ordinary dude. A man that can sit there and transform his whole body to another appearance and float in air and levitate is not a regular dude. You see what I'm saying? That could calm a storm just by telling the storm to cease and be still. Some of y'all can't even walk a straight line. You see what I'm saying? What you got nerve to sit there and say that you're not supposed to honor and reverence your house shot? John 15 and 22. Now this is John chapter 15, verse 23. He that hateth me, hateth, hateth my father also. See, when you hate you have a shot, to which the world in the car, Jesus Christ, when you hate him, you hate who is father. 
which is your house, which the world called God. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Said, if I had not done among them the works which none, if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated me, both me and my father. See? 